Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to explain the four things you can copy from Roger Federer's forehand to help improve the topspin on your forehand. So in order to hit topspin, you really need four things. You need racket speed, you've got to close your racket face, you've got to swing low to high, and you've got to make sure at contact your racket is square against the back of the ball or just a few degrees closed. Let's check this out. First thing, racket speed. Use a circular swing. Take the racket up drop down, and then swing back up again. So you can see it's this C swing that he has. It looks like the letter C, a modified letter C. So film yourself and make sure that you're not going down right away and then coming up, but go up slightly on the way back and then around. Being able to do that allows you to accelerate your racket freely. The second thing, after you're making that circular swing, make sure at the bottom of the swing you close your racket face. Does every single professional player close their racket face a lot? No. But as an amateur player, recreational player, if you're looking to gain control and gain top spin and, and gain confidence and trust in your forehand, trust me, close your racket face at the bottom. Just tilt your strings down on purpose. When you do that, that's what allows your strings at contact to face forward, to face your target. Now, you can notice his strings are a few degrees closed. That's fine as long as you don't close them too much. As long as you don't have your strings tilted down too much, the ball will go up over the net. And you can see this. His ball goes slightly up off of his racket. You can see that. The ball's going slightly up off of his racket. I actually guessed where to put that arrow and <laughs> actually did a pretty good job. Kind of impressed with that. All right, back to the video. So you've got to close your racket face. And you can tell he's actually keeping the racket closed prior to contact, at contact, and after contact, his strings are slightly closed as he's hitting the ball. And when he's doing that, that that's the third idea, getting your strings to face your target. The fourth idea is you've got to swing up as you're hitting. So he's swinging up as he hits this ball. So he's swinging from low to high. So you've got to make sure that you're not smacking into the back of it. I watch most recreational players. They smack, whoops, they smack straight into the back of the ball. Not Federer. Federer's going up as he hits this ball. But most recreational players I see smack straight into the back of it, and then what do they do? They just bury the ball in the net because there's no lift on the ball. Tennis is a lifting game. The, the, you've got to hit the ball up over the net. Even when you're trying to hit the ball short or low to someone's feet, you've got to get that ball to go up over the net. And so swinging low to high with the friction on the strings is a great way to make that happen. So if you're looking for topspin, let's say you're a beginner, intermediate player, and you just want more confidence in topspin on your forehand, make sure you use the circular swing where you go high, low, high. And you can see that high, low, high, right? That's the high, low, high swing. That's the letter C that we saw him drawing. Make sure at the bottom of the C, you close your racket face and then swing low to high. And if you really want a lot of topspin, feel like your strings are ever so slightly tilted down just before contact, during, and just after contact. That'll be the feeling swinging from below the ball to above the ball. You copy these topspin ideas from Roger Federer, and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.